Okay, so when I first open Access, this is what it looks like. I'm going to choose this one over here, which is my blank desktop database. And I'm going to click on this little browse to tell me where to save it. So I'm going to put mine into my D drive and I'm going to put it into my digital tech folder and I've got a folder there called databases and I don't want to call it database 3 I'm going to call it homeroom because my database is going to be back homeroom so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to hit create so here I am now I'm inside access I'm inside my table you see it says over here table 1 there's nothing in my table at the moment so what I want to be able to do is to change to what's called design view and start putting some of my own fields and things in so I'm going to come over here and I'm change my view to design view it gives me the opportunity now to actually change some some information so I'm going to type in the name of my table and I'm just going to call it students okay and I'm going to click OK on there so over here on my left I can see this is my information pane I've got a table called students I've got nothing in that table so the next step now is to start filling in some fields now it's already doing what's called a default um, primary key field so you see there's a little picture of a key here now you might remember from when you're doing your theory work that all databases need to have a unique field one that can't be duplicated so this is going to do this for me automatically so every time I put a new student in it's going to give them a new number so the first students number one second students number two and so on I can never have a second number one or a second number two so I can never get my students confused even if I delete one I can't use that number again so I'm going to leave that there and say OK and I'm going to start filling in a few of my own so I'm going to start off with first name and I come over here to the data type and I need to choose what type of data text now basically a first name is usually going to be short text no one's going to have a, a name I don't think that's longer than 255 characters which is what this information box is down the bottom is showing me um, I'm next going to put in my surname same thing short text is fine next one I'm gonna do I'm gonna look for a photo now photos are different data type I can't have a photo which is short text so this time I'm gonna choose one down here which says OLE which stands for object linking and embedding because we're gonna embed photographs here later on okay I'm gonna carry on filling a few more of these in now and then I'll jump back to this video and show you where they're completed okay so I've jumped ahead now and I have filled in a few more of my fields and I've changed some of the categories you can see they're not all quite the same so date of birth I've chosen to be date and time as my as my data type I've got number for my height and my shoe size because I might want to do some kind of searching based on numbers later on um, my suburb musical instrument sport are all short text the last one on here that I'm gonna actually change now is transport now what I want to do with transport is I basically want a way of working out quickly if somebody walks to school or goes in the car and so on. So what I want to do is change this short text type and I'm actually going to go down to this thing that says lookup wizard. I'm going to click on lookup wizard and I'm going to say I'm going to type in the values I want and I'm going to click next. So now I've got the opportunity to type in things that are going to appear in a list. So I'm going to type in um, bus I'm going to type in car, I'm going to go for train, and maybe I'll go for walking. So there's my four things in my list. I'm going to click next, and I'm going to leave everything exactly as it is. I don't need any limits on it. I'm just going to hit transport and say finish. So now, although it still looks like short um, here, if I check over on my lookup, I can see that my source now says that I've got these things in there. I could always, if I wanted to, even edit it in here, but I'm not gonna do that for the minute. That was just to show you how it works. So I'm gonna save what I've done so far. Another one worth changing as well is the uh, schoolhouse. So although it's short text, it'd be good to have that as a list as well. So we we'll choose from the drop down, go for the lookup wizard. Same thing as last time, I'll type in the values I want. Hit next, and then I've got to type in my four values. click next click finish so now if I check again in my lookup I can see that it's actually now using a list value instead of um, instead of just a normal text entry